Well, OU and Texas are leaving. Where does the other eight teams of the Big 12 go? Here's what I think. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Drew, better known as RockChalk01. And if you haven't heard in the last couple days for college football news, it was official today that Oklahoma and Texas are not going to renew their media license with the Big 12, which was supposed to expire by the end of 2025. They're more likely going to move to the SEC, but what does that mean for the other eight teams that are in the Big 12 currently? So I'm going to give my predictions on what I think the remaining eight teams' new destination will be. So just a fair warning, I'm not going to state the individual team and then their final destination. I'm actually going to start with the final destination first and then which teams will be joining uh, the conference. So here's my predictions. First up, we have the ACC. Now, honestly, I think it's going to be West Virginia that joins this conference. Uh, geographical standards, that's where it fits as well. But mostly it's because of the rivalries that were in uh, the ACC that would be perfect for West Virginia. You got the old ACC teams, which were like Duke, North Carolina, NC State. Wake Forest and those guys. But then you got the old Big East teams, which were Miami, Boston College, uh, Pitt, Virginia Tech, Rutgers, Louisville. Those teams that I can think of off the top of my head, they had rivalries with West Virginia. So those would be perfect fits and perfect rivalries renewed. And yeah, so honestly, in my opinion, I think West Virginia should go to the ACC. Next up, we got the Big Ten, and honestly, it's very, very tough to get in the Big Ten anyway, because you have to be an AAU school, which means they are a member of the Association of American Universities. Hopefully I got that right. That's what they have to be a member of. And the only two schools that could join the Big Ten in this case would be Iowa State and Kansas. Uh, which honestly fits really well and also the rivalries get renewed here mostly Missouri Valley rivalries Iowa and Kansas used to be conference uh, acquaintances so they could have their Iowa Kansas rivalry get started and then KU Nebraska gets renewed Iowa and Iowa State is now a conference rivalry game instead of a non-conference rivalry game but then the other like rivalries that could get started it would just be phenomenal. I mean, KU Wisconsin, uh, KU Michigan State, especially for basketball, KU Michigan for basketball, KU Ohio State for basketball. Most of this stuff is going to be for basketball because KU is that powerhouse, not in football. Honestly, the rivalries and the geographical statements and the AAU requirements, I think Iowa State and Kansas fits well in the Big Ten. Next up, we've got the Pac-12. And honestly, this one's a little bit of a doozy. And it doesn't make the most geographical sense, but hear me out. So out of the five teams remaining, I'm going to take two, TCU and Texas Tech. TCU makes the most sense out of this because they should have joined the Pac-12, honestly, during the first conference realignment stages, but they didn't. I think TCU fits well, and honestly, Texas Tech is kind of a tag along in this situation. They have the most, like, they're both tier one college athletic and academic programs. So that's why they take them there. I would have put Baylor here, but their academics is just a little bit underneath that tier one. So I don't think they'll get accepted. TCU and Texas Tech, I believe that they will go to the Pac-12. So the final conference I'm going to be looking at is the American Conference. And honestly, I'm just going to ship the rest of them there. So Baylor... K-State and Oklahoma State, I think, will go to the American Conference. Uh, honestly, there really hasn't been that much talk of those schools going anywhere besides the American. Scratch that. Baylor and Oklahoma State actually have some points of going to the Pac-12 because I've also heard that rumor going by. Kansas State, not so much. They really have nowhere in this. They, I mean, I've seen everything... For K-State being like, they're going to go to the American, they're going to go to the Mountain West, they're going to go to the MAC. So they'd basically kind of be screwed in going into a Power 5 conference in a way. So 
this is kind of their consolation prize. And I think they just trap Baylor and Oklahoma State out of the Pac-12. So with that being said, I think the remaining three schools, Baylor, Oklahoma State, and Kansas State, all join the American. So those are my thoughts and predictions on where each team in the Big 12 will most likely go since OU and Texas are leaving for the SEC. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, please let me know what your predictions are for this because I like uh, this topic. This is actually a really good topic to be talking about. Also, leave a like, share, and subscribe, and push that notification bell. I'm going to be going on vacation to Wisconsin for a couple days, so might do some stuff there. Probably not. Who knows? But until then, uh, have a good day, and as always, never ever bring exotic dishes to the field house, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.